Keep stand down. It feels like summer with the release of Marvel's first big superhero movie of the year. That would be Captain America, The Winter Soldier. This is a really good movie, and I'm not a big fan of a lot of superhero movies, but I thought this one combines all the elements you would expect from these comic book epics, along with the sensibility of a Cold War thriller, and it really works. We have our hero returning here. He is now finding himself in a world he doesn't really understand, facing a challenge like he's never had before. He's fast. Strong. Had a metal arm. He's not really sure who the enemy is, and that's the trick of this movie. It really does feel like a convoluted kind of spy thriller, except that it all works, at least it worked for me. This movie is non-stop action for two hours and 10 minutes, but it also has a, a strong sensibility and a good sense of plot to it. One thing I credit to the success of this movie is its casting. It not only has Chris Evans in the lead and Anthony Mackie playing Falcon, and of course the return of my favorite Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, and she really kicks ass in this movie. <laughs> But it's also got Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury in a much bigger role than we've seen him in in a while in these kinds of movies. And it has Robert Redford. First time I've seen Robert Redford in this kind of role ever. And he plays Alexander Pierce and he is the head of the whole thing. It's very interesting to see Redford in this because it reminded me of movies that he made in the past, like Three Days of the Condor or All the President's Men. It's got that kind of intrigue going with all the superhero antics that you would expect from this kind of a film. But you gotta get Iron Man to stop by my niece's birthday party. Thank you, sir. Not just a flyby, he's got a mingle. Captain America really is a hybrid of those great heroic World War II movies and the comic book uh, realm that it came out of. I think it's one of the more successful movies in this realm, and I think Captain America is actually one of the more interesting characters to come out uh, of the whole Avengers uh, sphere. And by the way, at the end of the movie, if you, you've gotta stay till the very, very end of the movie. There is a key scene that will set off what's coming in the future. So don't be one of those people that gets up during the credits, because you're gonna be sorry. You listen to Pete here. At any rate, if you haven't gone already, I say go. And if you've already gone, go again. It's that good.